So guys, I am back with another Star Fueled video and today guys, I bring you four glitches, exploits and tricks you can use taking advantage of this game and what it offers. These you don't want to miss. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this video consists of an infinite credits glitch, which is just ridiculous, a ship glitch, which will allow you to apply any part to your ship even if you don't have it unlocked, it's completely free. Also show you an amazing legendary farm and also how you can get yourself free easy OP weapons. And now these will be time stamped down below if there's something in particular you're looking for. But hey, let's get into it. And we're gonna start with a ship glitch. Okay, so what to do this, I recommend you definitely come into New Atlantis where I'm at right here, guys. So you wanna to come to New Atlantis, you wanna land in right there at New Atlantis. This is on Jameson, this is on the uh the tutorial map, uh, the tutorial planet, everyone knows where this is in Alpha Century. And you want to land right by where you want to come to this guy right here, the uh, ship service technician. And the reason this is because you will obviously spend money, spend those credits in upgrading your ship. But with this, guys, we can get this money back. There's another glitch, and how you can get all the money back you spend at this guy. Okay, so obviously, guys, there are certain parts. Um, that are tied to Starship design. So if you haven't got a rank 3, 4, 2, whatever, there's a good portion of things you won't be able to use with your ship. We're going to get around this. Easy. And don't worry about the piloting skill too, guys, because there's also a quick method in how you can get uh, your piloting up to a rank 4 in about 25 minutes to half an hour. I'll showcase that to you too. Okay, so to do this guys, find yourself a ship services technician. Now, don't have to be on this planet, but if you want your money back, come to this planet. Okay, so, skip his uh, dialogue and come down to this here. I like to view and modify my ships. From here guys, pick on any ship you want to upgrade. Don't matter what it is, pick on it. Uh, I'm just going to go with my beautiful stronghold. Click on X on the console, it's going to be ship builder. And here we have it guys. Now if we pick an empty spot, this is exactly how this works. Just go to an empty spot, press A to add a spot. Now if you come down here guys, actually we'll go to something a bit bigger. Let's say, uh, what we got, what we got? Engines, why not? Okay, so engines. As you can see, at the very bottom, there are three I haven't got unlocked yet. These, as you can see, bottom left, are tied to Starship Design Rank 4. But I can actually apply these to my ship Easy. So what you do is find this spot real close to your ship. So you see the cursor in the center of your screen. You want this real close to your ship. Now, obviously, you can still see it says add right down there. But if it goes to edit, it ain't working. You need to find a place as close to your ship where it still says add. Now, can you use camera angles to do this? It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go into this gap here. Still says add. Now, if I press A now, you can see that everything I try and well, put on my ship is highlighted in red. This is what you need. If it isn't highlighted in red, this will not work. That's why you need to be right next to your ship. Okay, so now obviously I've still got these three things I cannot apply. I haven't got them unlocked. But say if I go to any other thing that I have got unlocked and I click on it, like that, and I press down on my D pad, I can scroll to the very bottom. For the items that I haven't unlocked. And then guys, I can just fasten them in place. And there you go. It really is that simple. It's that simple. Uh, I can do this for anything. I can do it for weapons. I can do it for whatever. So if I go into another space like that, where it says add, press A. Let's go to, let's see what we've got. Let's go to our weapons. I think I've gone the wrong way here. But if I come to the very bottom, there's a few that I haven't got unlocked yet just like so. In fact, I may just delete that just so I can put it there, get rid of that. Okay, so I've gone back to a space right by your ship. I mean, you can, you can be really close to your ship, but if you do have gaps, we can get your cursor in where it still says add, but I'm right, it's even better. So if we come to weapons, you can see here, um, right now, so look, if I go to, let's say, these I haven't got, this is what I wanna put on. So if I go to one I have got unlocked, click A, it's red, and press down on my d-pad scroll to the very bottom i now have it and i can apply it to my ship wherever i want to put it there you go i have it 
Simple as that. And this works with absolutely anything. Cargo, it works with shields, it works with landing. It, it works with everything, guys. It is really that easy. And then, guys, you just simply back out and apply them. And there you have it. Don't worry about that now because obviously I know what that is, but don't worry about that. It can resolve. If, you don't, if you've got issues or errors, um, just simply press your, well, for me, it's start. And it tells me there. Ship has more than three different uh, weapons, blah, blah, blah. Ship is using too much power engine. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Obviously, guys, you, you'll obviously delete the engines when you're putting these ones on that you haven't got unlocked. Same with your weapons. Don't worry about that. But yes, so you'd obviously finalize it. Now, once you finalized it, it would take your credits. And to get your credits back, guys, this is what you've got to do. So you want to come down here. Now, this is a well-known exploit, but just in case you don't know, come down this ramp and you want to glitch through this wall. Now, if you don't know how this works is, you can glitch through the wall right here. So what you need is a melee weapon. Any melee weapon will do, axe, knife, sword, whatever. Then you want to go into third person. Now, when you're in third person, with that melee weapon in your hand, if you run, jump and press block, you teleport forward just like that what you want to do is run towards this wall jump and you want to land more or less on this line facing that wall and you should teleport straight through now you can do it multiple different ways you can stand on the spot and do it like well i'll showcase it here you have to be good at it you can do it that way you can stand here teleport backwards and do it i mean it's a bit fiddly but at the end of the day if you spend a lot of money you want your credits back and then you can run from afar and do it. This is what some people do as well. I was actually finding this easiest jump, try and land there and teleport through. But you need to go on that point of the wall. And well, once you're in, you'll end up right here, guys. Then, guys, you simply just jump up here. Now, I have seen people say that this is being fixed. I'm doing this currently the 20th of September. It still works perfectly fine. Then, guys, the credits will be here so anything you spend will be here along with his 72,000 credits simple as that people now in regards to the piloting skill what you want to do guys is come to again uh, Jameson the planet come to your star map if you're not here already again New Atlantis you want to select the planet of Jameson which is where we're at and you want to go to guys the lodge area right here okay so from here guys you want to turn back around on yourself and you want to run in this direction this is by far the fastest way to level up that pilot into a rank 4 take you like 30 minutes tops so you want to go into this area right here you can see where we're running towards go back into first person now put my weapon away okay so run up these stairs guys and what you need to do guys is if you haven't already speak to this guy right here once you speak to this guy and you start off his quest he sends you to basically what is like a museum i can't really remember and you simply just press a few buttons and learn about the past of the vanguard and the uc and then guys you go straight to the flight simulator which you'll see in a quick second now once you've got to the flight simulator and you've done that part of the mission it's quite easy it takes about five minutes you then have full access to go and use this flight simulator whenever you want and to do this guys you simply come to this uh this elevator click a floor and you can see you right at the very bottom we've got a vanguard pilot simulator it really is this simple so in here guys, you simply just go in here, enter the uh, simulation, and then you can just sit down and take out multiple ships, wave after wave, and just completing this actual process, just starting it, restarting it, doing it as much as you want, because when you your ship gets uh, destroyed in this simulator, it doesn't affect you at all. And you can just do this over and over and every ship you take out within this simulator guys counts towards that pilot in rank so yes use that until you get to a rank four it should take you about half an hour or less okay so now guys i'm going to show you how you can get three amazing weapons now these weapons many people are trying to get real early on but hey they're still perfect for no matter where you are in your playthrough but if you are just starting a game or you're relatively close to the start of the game or you've just gone into new game plus or you like me and like powerful weapons these are perfect for you so you need to come to where it says Narian. so you got alpha centauri there 
if you go to Nerian. Then guys down to Velo, click on this and you want to go to Polvo. Now Polvo is home to Hometown, which is where we want to go to. Now these weapons, um, we have the Mag Shield, we have the Razorback and I believe we have the Bridger. These are three Unreal weapons. Now there's a little trick that we're going to use to get these, which is what I'm going to showcase you today. And there's one skill you may need to help you, um, but we'll get to that in a second. So firstly guys, you want to come this way. So run past Rangers, which is there on your right. On your uh, right hand side here, we have a shop called Best Defense. Now you want to enter it or open the door. Now come in here guys, press start, change your game to hard. So go to settings, go to gameplay, put it on very hard. Then you want to create a manual save. I did this earlier, but hey, so I'm just going to overwrite it. Absolutely unreal glitch. Okay, so now you've got the save, what you do is you come over here and you see these weapons there. Now these weapons, the Magshia is an unreal weapon, but you want the advanced versions of them. Beasts. We also have guys, the Razor Black, back right there. Not Razor Black, Razor Back. Beast, but you want the advanced version of it. And then guys, we have the Bridger, Beast, but we want the advanced version of it. So how do you get these? Well, it's a bit of a trick. So grab them, just take them off the shelf. Now you will get colored by the owners caught you stealing. Don't worry about that. Once you've got them, load back up that save you just made yes load it up you heard that right load this up now once you come back to them there's a big chance now that these will be the advanced versions of them like how does this even work but it does it's crazy okay so now we can see the advanced versions of them like what is going on here now guys you need to steal them but you need to steal them so the shopkeeper or any of these uh, members of the public, the NPCs, don't see you. Now to help you here guys, you want to get this skill. This skill, which is over here. Stealth. You need stealth in your life. Just one rank into stealth is completely fine to do this. So you can see now guys where I'm crouched, it says hidden. But you have to be careful. So if they see me, they'll clock me. So now you can make a save before you do this if you want to. But I'm just going to grab it. So I've got one. There we go. Done. Now, if you've got a companion, I sack my companion off. Just do my heading. You can come here as long as no one can see you and do the same with this. But you can see it says I'm detected, so I'm not going to take the risk. So now I have the one weapon, uh, weapon guys. I'm just going to create a manual save. I'll just save over that one I just made. Okay, so now we're going to do the same for the Razorback. Now, the Razorback, again, it's going to be just a standard version of it. So we're just going to pick it up. Didn't actually see me, but hey, now I've picked it up. I'm going to load up that save I just made. Again, a save I just made, which <laughs> in this save, this was just a standard version. But when I load it back up, for some reason, it, nine times out of ten, it changes to an advanced version of it, which is just totally bizarre to me. But it works, and these are super powerful weapons you don't want to miss. Again, Xbox Series X loading times people, I apologise. So now if we look, you can see it's an advanced version of it. Crouch down near it, you want to come to this angle and pick it up. There you go. I wasn't seen. From here guys, create another manual save. Because this can easily mess up. So I'll create a save, save over that. Or create another one. And there you go. Now, finally guys, we want to get the advanced version of this. Now this one is a little more trickier. Without Chameleon and without that Void uh, Super, I don't think you can even grab this without being coloured. So I'm just going to grab it, uh, just to make sure I get the um, advanced version of it. I'm just going to load up that save I just made. And hopefully this should change to advanced. Now the only way you can get this is to steal it and to be caught. But the way around this, I will explain. You will have to pay an 8,000 credit bounty if you want this weapon. If you don't want this weapon, this amazing heavy, then you won't have to pay any bounties. You can just leave with these two weapons you've already picked up. But if you do want this, this is what you got to do. So, grab it. And as soon as you grab it, you want to run to your ship. Grab and run. If you stay around too long, they will take your weapons. You'll just see them vanish out of your inventory, which is not what we want. So grab it and run to your ship. 
you can see there now it says I've got an 8,000 bounty on my head. Run to your ship. Go to your cockpit and fly away. Now, when you next return here, you will have a bounty that you have to pay. The problem is these weapons, they are they have that stolen tag on them. I'm going to show you now how you can clear that stolen tag on these weapons or anything else you have stolen. It's quite easy to be honest. So we'll have a look at the weapons in a second. They are unbelievable weapons, by the way. You've probably seen in previous videos on people trying to farm these. But yeah, you don't want to miss them. You don't want to miss them. So from here, guys, as you can see here, if we go into new items, we have the three stolen weapons. These are absolute musts. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to make your way to this uh, destination here. It's called Wolf in between Narian and Alpha Century. On here guys, you wanna go to the Den Space Station and jump here. Now what's here is there's a vendor that will buy contraband off you. So if you have any contraband and you wanna sell it, you can sell it to this guy. Um, but you can also clear that label of stolen items. So you can clear that stolen tag and things like we've just picked up those three weapons. It's quite easy to be honest. Okay, so it's a bit dark. I can barely see what I'm doing here, but let's just drive towards this. Uh, hopefully I duck on uh, before I smash into it. There we go. Now this doesn't cost you a finger either. But you have to do this trick. So you can clear the, the tag, the stolen tag, 100% uh, free. But you have to do this trick. And let me board. There we go. And again, this can be used for any weapon that you have stolen. Okay, so if we come here, come to this vendor, go to him. I can do for you, I hope uh, click on what he has in his stock. And now we want to go across to sell. So press the tab once. Now, if we go to our weapons, you can see we've got a few here. So just sell them. Now, if you press B once and go across to buy and come down to buy back, you'll see we can buy the weapons back for what we just sold them for. And now when we look at them guys, they don't have that stolen tag on them. Gone. This means when we go back to uh, that planet or any other planet where it has the same security, then you, you obviously get the bounty, you'll get your 8k taken off, you'll get thrown in jail, but they won't take these weapons off you. Now keep in mind, if you do have other things, other stolen items on you, then they will take these. So keep that in mind. I have got quite a lot of stolen ammo, this, that, and the other. But I ain't really fussed about it because I can get more of it. So yes, when you do go back, and I'll show this to you now, we're going to go back to that planet. You'll see that I'll get thrown in jail, but they will not take uh, what I've just got from them, which is cool. You can go back to the vendor. You can buy off the vendor. Everything is, everything's just as normal. So let's just uh, go back here jump in and we'll, I'll showcase to you but it's pretty cool people so yes keep this in mind this is how you get rid of that stolen tag on those um, items scanning my shit for contraband I have none on me that's for sure stolen items maybe but none of that contraband yes I'm on a wanted list come on lock me up take away the key I'll pay the credits whatever now sometimes these ain't here, uh, but when you fly back down to the planet, they'll, they'll color you there. Uh, but either way guys, you'll see that they will not take these weapons off you. Again, Xbox Series X loading times. I hope with an update they actually sort this out because there's so much loading, unnecessary loading. Like sitting down in the cockpit and standing back up and things like that. Do my head in. Okay, so look, it's removing stuff. Fair enough, whatever. But you'll notice guys that I will keep my weapons. The weapons will stay with me and they don't go anywhere. But it will, it will remove anything you have on you that's classed as stolen. So there we have it guys. Another amazing glitch. Okay so next up guys we have an amazing legendary loot farm. This is unbelievable. So what you need to do guys is the only actual negative, the only drawback to this is you need to find yourself 
an abandoned outpost which is the helium free extraction sites now these are random on different planets i mean i've got one right here but again for you guys it's completely completely different so yes that won't actually show on your map either so once you even find one they won't show but if you remember the planet you can go back whenever you want now what i do recommend guys is you find in a planet that's a level 60 or above so yes any of the ones far right uh, or far away from the center they're normally higher level ones i found one right here on fermi again it's probably going to be different for you as it's random uh, generated maps as you know especially with these odd planets or these moons now i do think they only appear on moons too so keep that in mind the helium free extraction sites but they are abandoned outposts so i'll show you what one looks like now guys so we'll have to get a little bit closer to it you can see right there in the distance now obviously this is a foggy map it's going to be hard to see but we'll get closer to it but yes these guys can be home to multiple elites now if you do not know you can farm elite enemies and how this is done is pretty simple so once you find an elite enemy which do have increased drop chances of that legendary gear you want to basically put the game on very very easy you want to take him down to a one hit then guys change the game within your settings to a very hard difficulty then guys you want to create a save upon you doing this you then have that save you kill the elite upon you killing the elite if it doesn't drop your legendary that you want you simply just open up reload that save you just made and it's that simple kill away rinse and repeat until you get what you want now this is what the uh the helium free extraction sites look like and they look exactly the same wherever they are no matter what planet they are on this is what you want to look you want to look for this big canister here that's the dead giveaway there's normally only one and it's normally on the rocks at the very top on some planets you can see it from miles away and others like this one it's hard to see so what you want to do guys is you want to come towards the back end of this place you'll see these lights now these lights are pretty hard to spot from afar but as you get close rotate round until you come to this point right here where there are stairs simple as that now as you can see guys there's an elite there now, if you come up here and there's an elite right outside do not kill him leave him completely leave him there should be another en enemy at the top here too right there kill this guy he is an elite so take him out i think my game is still on hard i'm not sure that doesn't matter let me just double check and uh, before all this though you want to put it on very easy all this it needs to be on very easy so what we do now guys is leave that one elite there do not touch him because what he will do guys is he will follow us into this farm so this is where we're going to go and from here you want to create a save because guys when you create a save outside of here inside of this cave there can be upwards of four elites inside of here but if you enter here and there's only one elite you can reload that save enter it back into it and it will reset the enemies but this guy will still follow you in as well so that he counts as one too so if we go in here and this is unreal i literally just figured it out i thought wow this is a great way to farm legendaries now, there's normally a high level one down there there we go there's normally one here too so he's just normal he's just normal uh, so you kill the normal guys and there's a few enemies over here too these i mean there can be up to four in here i mean I'll do, what i'll do is i'll just reload okay, okay so there's one there's two there's gonna be three in total i mean there's two in here it's enough to actually showcase it to you but if there wasn't what i'll do is i'll just reload that save i just made and just try and run the risk I'll try to get as many as in here as i can so what i want to do guys is now kill everybody that isn't an elite so if there ain't any an elite kill them all simple as that again put it on very easy to do this it just makes life a lot easier for yourself Woo, that almost killed my ass then. Something blew up behind me. Okay, so there's a few more here. Let's get rid of these guys. This place is hectic. Everything's just shaking and shit. Okay, so we've got one there. Let me kill this guy here. And we've got one there. Now, there's one outside. Sometimes they don't come in. Sometimes they do. If he doesn't come in, don't worry about it. Just we'll stick to the ones inside of here anyway. And then what you want to do guys is again you want to take this down to a low health now be careful what weapon you're using here because you don't want to kill him so 
we'll take him down to a low health. This weapon's actually a bit powerful, to be honest. I should probably switch out. I mean, it's very easy as well. These guys just don't hurt you at all. Just watch out for explosions. So take him down to probably about one hit. And there we go, and then go up to the other guy and do the exact same. Do the exact same. Weapons of beast, by the way. Okay, so, oh, watch that grenade. So I'm just going to take him down to low health, just like that. Now we have two elites that are on low health. What I'll do now, guys, is I'll create another save. But first, I'll put it on hard. So I'll change it to hard, put it on very hard, and then create a save. Now you can save over the last one if you want to. I wouldn't know. Just create another one. So what we do now is guys, because they're both at low health, we just simply kill them. If he drops a legendary, uh, no he hasn't, so what we'll do is we'll go to this guy here. Again, it's on very hard, so the will hit much harder now, so just be careful of that. Let's we'll take him out. And they sponge a lot more too. You can see the damage they're doing, it's unbelievable. This weapon's a bit bouncy, but hey. So if they don't have legendaries on them, what you do is to simply reload the save. It's actually quite got quite a bit of head credits on him as well so you just load up the save guys and you need to repeat this until you have that legendary you want now again this cave can be upwards of four elites inside of this so just keep that in mind reload 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 until you get more elites if you're happy with three or four stick with that but it can be five in here because sometimes the guys outside will check in here so yeah kill nope nothing there I'll go back down to this guy and kick his ass. Who is he throwing that grenade at? Okay, so he's down. And so he's just got a, a blue, an epic. Nope, not what we want. We'll do it one more time, guys, and try and get a legendary. Again, it's not guaranteed, it just increases chances from the elite enemies and putting them on very hard. But it is definitely the best legendary farm I have seen in the game so far. Okay, so let's turn around and get this dude. Nothing on him. That guy's stingy as my boat. There we go. That deserves, that deserves definitely a destiny kill that was. And there we go. We've got an explosive advanced pacifier. As well as credits and all sorts. There's also credits in this box here guys as well. If you want to grab them while you're here. But yes, let's have a look at that legendary. If we're happy with it, we'll just go away and come back at a later date. Yes, I'm happy with that. It's a bit of a beast. Okay, so yeah, cool and cool. So there you go, guys. An amazing legendary farm you can take advantage of. Again, the more elites in here that you get down to that low health, the more of a chance you have of getting that specific legendary you are chasing. And there we have it, guys. Okay, so lastly, guys, I'm going to showcase you how you can earn towards 10 million uh, credits per hour quite easily. It is ridiculous. It's a new method. Uh, it's just an easier way of doing the newest method uh, that I originally post. I covered it again in a video about two days ago. Uh, but yes, you'll see it, guys. It's absolutely unreal. 160,000 credits every minute or so. Yeah, this is crazy. So you want to come to Narian right here and then guys you want to come to this place right here the shroud eklund star yard this is where you want to come to so you will be uh in space and you will have to duck to this uh space station so do what you gotta do people so get as close to it and then duck without crashing into it just like that just like that okay so to do this guys you need a skill a skill you can't get away from you need it otherwise you ain't making these jumps there's a couple of jumps but i'm gonna make it as easy as that for you okay so from here this is what you need you need guys this boost pack skill just one point into it is completely fine one rank is completely fine that's it that's basically all you need then guys you just want to walk forward come this way and you see this thing right here, this red thing, this is where you're going to glitch through the wall. 
you can just literally walk through if you know where to go. So yep, that's what you want to get down. You want to get down walking through the wall first. So we're just going to do a few attempts at that. So you see this ramp, just walk straight along it, slowly, aim for the middle of it at an angle, and you will, most times, just walk straight through. So get the hang of that first. Once you get the hang of that, guys, you're going to have to quickly boost to the left because you want to land on the other side of this white wall. So we'll do it one more time, walk along this, come up the ramp, and walk straight through. If you fall down, you just literally spawn back in here, which is completely fine. So get used to that, and then guys, you want to come through it, and then boost to your left, just like so. It's quite easy to do, we'll do it again. Walk down, come through, as soon as you get, get through it, just boost to your left. And with your standard backpack, a boost pack, it isn't going to be that powerful, so you may have to boost a couple times. But once you get it down, complete the long angle then. Uh, so once you get it down, you should be fine. There you go. You can literally, I've got the boost pack for it, so I boost once, it throws me up in the air. Now from here, guys, once you get the anger that, you want to jump across to there. That wall there, you can't get through. You can get up there, but that wall there is where you want to aim for, because there's a ledge there which you'll land on. Because, if you don't know about this already, there is a chest right around that corner, which beholds 160,000 credits in it. So yep, just jump boost this way, just like so, you'll land on this platform. Then guys, you want to get down to that platform there. Again, just boost and land, simple as that. May take you a couple of attempts um, to do this, but you're good. I've looted this chest more times than I can remember, but this chest will hold um, 160,000 credits in it. Once you have the credits guys. What you want to do is, you want to go to Venus and skip time by 6 hours, which I'll do for you now. So let me just go back into the map. Um, you want to fly to Venus, which is a part of the solar system. So come out of this, come across to here. And you can Venus repeat this farm over and over and over and over. It really is this simple, guys. It's absolutely scandalous in regards to how much ex uh, credits you can use. I mean, I can get this down now. I'm basically running backwards forwards within about a minute and a half, if that. On PC, it's going to be way, way quicker for some people because of loading times. So you can earn even more. But once you land at Venus, people, you just want to sit down on your chair or a bed on your ship and rest for six hours, which takes about 15 seconds. If that, if that, I'll show it to you now. I'll show you exactly how this works. It's so easy, guys. It's unreal. So board your ship. I've got the stronghold, which is just so damn big. It's unreal. Okay, so find a chair. Click on it. You'll sit down. Then press Y on console. Skip time by six hours. Six hours resets that chest and most other chests you can find in this game. So if you've got a chest you want to farm and you want to get the credits out of it, come to Venus, skip time by six hours. Simple. There we go. Skip time by six hours and we are done. Now guys, we just simply go back to that space station, which is a part of Narion. Just like so. So click here. Click in. Click there. Jump to it. Land that space. Duck again. Go grab that chest. It is that simple. It is this simple. And I'll showcase you now, guys, that the chest has reset. Again, I'm doing this, guys, on the 20th of September. If anyone tries to tell you it's been patched, they are lying to you. They've only dropped one hot fix, and that was probably four days ago now. So, yeah. Again, it's so easy, guys. It's just so, so easy. Come forward, you do need to have that boost pack, that one skill into it. Walk along this ramp, come through here, boost to your left, land on there, and you want to boost across there, just like so, and you want to boost down there, just like so, land here, hold right, land there so you don't fall off, you can't go through this wall either. The chest, there you go, has the credits in it, simply step off. From here guys, you then would go back to Sol, 
go to Venus, skip time by another six hours and you are good. And there we have it guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more glitches, exploits, tips, tricks. Guys, you name it, I will have it all covered for you. Again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.